How you doing? My name is Jeremy Rivera. Um, this is my wheelchair assignment uh, presentation. I will show how the, uh, the, the disadvantages of a person with a wheelchair will have going around campus and playing basketball, especially the game around the world. Uh, we'll go to GC, you will see me eat, um, eat, eat lunch, and go around campus and using the ramps and all the accessibility, um, this accessibility places around campus. Thank you. You see, I cannot go up in the stairs anymore like I used to. Gotta go that way. Yep. Nah. So you gotta take the long ramp. I gotta take the ramp. Got it. Okay, ramp only. Boom, and then just a two. And I saw a handicap door. <laughs> when you get up there, just take the left door. Hey, you go. Hey. Damn, she ignored you. Damn. That's what so happens when you, you as, as you see just now, um, <laughs> I knew that girl, her name was Teddy, and she didn't recognize me in the wheelchair. She just said hi to Jenner and, uh, and my friend. She actually So she just totally ignored me. Usually she comes up and says hi all the time. So that's definitely uh, what people, people with disabilities. How does people, that make you feel? Um, definitely, it, feel, it felt kind of weird to be ignored. I can't lie. Yeah. So why do you think you got ignored? Because she didn't notice me in a wheelchair. <laughs> and, there you go. and people with, with disabilities are not sometimes noticed at times when they're in a wheelchair. So that's this is definitely uh, a disadvantage of being a wheelchair and a barrier. Hey, what's up, Kat? Well, as you just saw, that um, I tried to use the, the, the accessible door for me, and somebody was using it. And that door is really meant for people with, with wheelchairs or people with, uh, with, uh, with disabilities that need, that need easier access to get inside GC. So as you see, um, somebody you, uh, use it for their benefit because it was easier. Take the footage of the people? Yeah. Chicken Caesar sandwich? Uh, chicken Caesar sandwich? Con arroz y frijoles. Para acá. Va como cuatro, cuatro horas. Over here um, is is in this location. Now this is very far from the door, and but for with a person confined to a wheelchair, like this isn't. It's not fair that um, it's not fair that I will have to use this ramp um, just to get down to near the door, where it's it's farther than the person using the stairs. You know, as you see, the bathroom states that. Accessible. I guess, kind of. Pretty tough to get in here. As you see, um, these doors could be a little bit wider. Um, As you see in that first bathroom, it was very hard for a person like me with a, uh, with a, with a confined to a wheelchair to just get inside and get out. Um, and then also you saw somebody that was using the handicap, um, the this, uh, bathroom. Um, so it's, it's, it limits what I can usually do and what I can um, and my and, and my abilities. Uh, if a person in a wheelchair is I need to use the restroom and someone's taking it over, where am I going to use? And now as you see. Bath the second bathroom is closed. So, so now I have to use now, now I have to go use the second floor just to use the restroom. We just came out the elevator, um, so uh, now we are gonna use the second bathroom. And hopefully, as you see, it, they say they are they say this for people with handicap. Um, this access um, just to get inside seems more accessible for me. Um, now here's the hand this is the disabled bathroom. Okay, sure. right. Um, as you see, this is the this is the railings right here. They say this is everything's doubled for me. As you, as you see, 
lock my lock my middle. Now it won't move. So now I'm gonna push my stuff. And this is how a person, you know, usually with with, with um, to say um, disabilities, um, they can't use their feet. So you know they will have to. If there's no one around to help them use the restroom, um, this is where you know this is basically how they have to move it. Clock the wheelchairs. Um, use their use their upper body strength to put together this wheelchair. I mean, to get this toilet. Um, and when they're done, you know they're definitely going to have to you know maneuver their way out. You know, do what they got to do. Use toilet paper. You know, they have four racks right here, railings. And if I need to get back in there. How would I wash my hands? If I need to wash my hands, it's at the leg, perfect wipe, length, wrist, perfect height. Not too high. Maybe it could be a little shorter. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of space for my feet, so I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm, I'm not I'm not um, uncomfortable. You know, it's right here for me. Um, right now, I'm doing my recreational uh, activity. Which is playing basketball. Um, you know, usually when I, you know, if I'm not, you know, in a confined to a wheelchair, I love to play basketball. That's one, that's one of my hobbies that I like to do with my friends as a recreational activity. So um, right now, I'm playing around the world um, with my little brother Danny and uh, two of my other brothers, um, my fraternity, Hugo and Danny Rivas. Um, basically, just did my wheelchair assignment, a bit confined to the wheelchair for uh, almost about almost four hours. Um, as you saw, what I did, um, I with A and G C. I uh, socially interacted with my friends. Then I went to the bathroom PC, uh, see how that was accessible, if I can go, come, go inside the bathroom and come out. And then I went to play basketball, which was my recreational activity. Uh, during this experience, I definitely learned that a person with a wheelchair, um, their life is totally different from the people who are not in wheelchairs. Well, some people you know, gave me different reactions. Some people ignored me when I walked through, say hi to them because they didn't notice me in a wheelchair. Uh, basketball was definitely, definitely a, a difficult task for me. Um, I love playing basketball, so if I was confined to a wheelchair, it would definitely limit my game. Um, I definitely have to adjust my game to a different level um, on a wheelchair. Um, just definitely have to, you know, use more of a body strength to get my shot and more accuracy. So definitely, that's definitely a barrier. Definitely, I learned a lot from this experience. Definitely opened my eyes on what the other side is and how the reactions you get and the limit, the limit, the limit ability you're able to get. Um, but it's not about being you know, limited, it's about what you can do in your ability. It's not disability, it's an ability and um, you know, even though you're in a wheelchair, you have an ability to, just, to do great things.